Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're doing pick a card or pick a deck reading uh, for love. And the question we're asking is, what is going to happen between us in the near future and later on? So for those of you who have been wondering, have been asking, uh, there's lots of people have been asking, what's going to happen? And uh, do you know what's going to happen between me and my loved one? Well, this is the reading for you. And um, I'm going to separate, I'm going to ask, you know, first, what's going to happen in the immediate future and what's going to happen later? So I'd like you to choose uh, a deck and then you may go down to the description box below where you'll find your timestamp and you can go directly to your reading. And uh, the decks are as follows. It's uh, number one, number two, three, four and five and the five has that background so I uh, hope you see that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and begin the reading okay so for those of you who've chosen this deck here the question we're asking today is what is going to happen between us in the near future and later on what is the what's going to happen between us in the near future and then later on? So, what's going to happen between us in the near future? There we are. Okay, there we go. All right, so. For those of you who have chosen the deck number one, what I see is that in the near future, you are likely to have some kind of heartbreak. You're likely to have some kind of disappointment and it's, it's some kind of, something's gonna be make you sad. You know, you're gonna hear some news or they're going to say something to you that's gonna make you upset. Uh, things are not going to go immediately as you would like it to go. But this is going to lead to something something better coming out of it. Yeah, It's going to lead to some kind of um, foundation being built. It's going to lead to something coming out of it where a resolution will be made. Uh, a decision to, would be made in terms of commitment or in terms of... Um, yeah, just ba basically building something together or, uh, or moving in together even for some people. And... Um, it will be a decision that will be made with regard to some kind of commitment or some kind of a closure, like bringing an end to something, uh, but in a positive way. It will be, um, I see this being a positive, a positive thing. So it's don't let the heartbreak that you have uh, fool you from, uh, don't let this heartbreak here that you have fool you from, yeah, or just, or push you in the opposite direction or push you away from this person because it's going to lead to something where uh, a decision will be made, you'll come together in a way that you haven't before and you'll be forming something. From then on, I feel that you can move things along and there could be a message that will come across. So for those of you which in which the heartbreak will lead to some kind of commitment or some kind of coming together in which you decide to live with each other or move into each other or move towards each other or build a home together um, or even get married, uh, I feel that this will be followed by a, a message or some kind of news uh, in which you need to take action. You need to move ahead and you need to move ahead quite quickly. You'll be um, you'll be galvanized to, to move things along and you'll be set into action. Uh, the other interpretation for these cards is that uh, you will have some kind of heartbreak which you will hear about about uh, with regard to a home or with regard to a marriage or with regard to a, a commitment and uh, you will be inspired to uh, contact this person or or just basically say something or be quite quite uh, not aggressive but quite forthright in what you want to say to this person and you you will have the impetus to do so in a way that uh, you might not have uh, spoken to this person in in this particular way before so it's yeah so for some of you it would be uh, it's it's like you know you've 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 gotten this heartbreak it's about something else but then 
you have a chance to build something together and come together and then you're moving that along. But for others of you, that heartbreak is going to be about the situation that you've heard that maybe they're married or maybe you've heard that they moved in with somebody or maybe you've heard that they've decided to move house uh, or you've they've decided to, uh, to move away. Um, and yeah, there's going to be another message that follows that or there's going to be communication after that follows that in which you are able to express exactly how you feel uh, about the situation. So I'm going to see now what happens in the future uh, between you two. So how will the situation resolve? How would the situation that we see before us resolve in the future? So we're talking about a year to two years and I'm going to put this down here it's fallen off and I'm inspired to do so and there's your card okay so this is so we asked yeah what's gonna happen in the near future and that's what's gonna happen and then in later on uh, we are asking what's gonna happen yeah later on later on I feel that this foundation that you are going to be building or this or the hope that you have uh, for something to be built is is not going to really take off. It's not actually going to get off the ground and you're going to have some difficulties uh, with this. So you might have hoped, you might have planned, you might have put all your energies into, uh, like I feel like in here they're saying that you put all your eggs in one basket, but it's actually not coming to fruition. It's not working out the way you wanted to. So I actually feel that this is like somebody who you've planned to move in with. Uh, there's been some heartbreak in this particular scenario. There's been some heartache. And this is not going to apply to everyone who's watching this, but uh, it will apply to a few of you. Um, there has been some heartache about moving in or there's been a delay regarding that. And then you try to move things along and you try to uh, take some action uh, or, you know, do some kind of uh, contracts or you move uh, in the direction of that place of moving in. But then that doesn't come, it, it doesn't have a chance to stabilize or there's no foundation that's being, there's not a possibility for a foundation to be laid for that to happen. And as a result you feel like you need to pull back you need to it's like you you need to pull back your resources you need to rethink you need to uh you know just secure your own resources because it feels to me like this is like a danger you know this is like a danger that uh things are not going to come to fruition and, and that's when you feel like okay i need to protect myself i need to protect my resources and i'm going to hold back here you're not going to take any um forward action towards this scenario here. So I feel as whereas in the near future there's going to be action and movement and things happening and news to be heard and uh, decisions to be made and even a heart heartache and, and a bit of difficulty but you're going to overcome that and you're going to work with all that that in the future uh, this is not going to lead to to anything. It's not going to lead to a foundation being established and as a result, you're going to need to feel like you, you have to protect your resources, you're going to pull back, you're going to protect your heart, you're not going to give too much. Um, you're going to become wary of giving too much because here I feel like you're taking a lot of the action, you're making a lot of the effort. Uh, it feels very much like that to me, like you're making all the effort here to move things along. And here, you know, it, it you don't have the opportunity to to f build your foundation, to ground this this thing. And so you decide to hold back. At the point at which you decide to hold back, um, you you are you feeling trapped in the situation. You're feeling like you're really not able to move ahead, or you're feeling like there's nothing else that you can do. Like you've done everything that you can do here. Um, in some people, you know, that's a scenario where you kind of hear some heartbreak about a home that you want to move into together, or a contract, something about con something re regarding a contract, and then you make steps, you take steps to uh, resolving that to actually. Um, in, you know, revising the contract or or just speaking to those involved to uh, come to a resolution. But then later on, it's as if, you know, you haven't still come to a solution and then you become tired and you decide to, okay, you're going to look out, out for yourself now. And this is going to lead you to a, a feeling where, um, because you've taken a step back in a way, 
because I feel this is about taking a step back here. Um, you, you're definitely not having the same amount of energy as you've had here. That it's going to leave you with feeling like your hands are tied, like you can't see the way forward, like you don't know what to do. It's almost as if you get. It's going to be. It's going to leave you with a sense of helplessness about how to move ahead in this situation. So I feel that. Uh, Whereas there's a lot of action now in the near future, I feel that this is going to leave you, you know, uncertain about what it is that you can do. I'm just going to pull one other card for you just because I don't want to leave you uh, with this here. And, you know, I want to know what actually what's actually going to happen for you. Um, so what will be the outcome of this relationship? Okay, so I've gotten the star here, and it feels so. I think that the outcome of this relationship is that there's going to be hope, and there's going to be a wish. You know, it's like you're going to be hoping and wishing that uh, things come together. And I, I'm being told that I shouldn't ask, I, I shouldn't go ahead, like, and I, do, I shouldn't actually pull more cards because I'm inclined to do so, but I'm told I shouldn't, and that I should leave you with this. There is a sense that there's hope, that you're still going to be hoping after this, that you can have this this home or you know you can come together in a marriage or something like this but uh i feel that you know you're going from a place where you have more certainty at this point in your life here yeah but you're going into a place where there's going to be more uncertainty and you might also find that this person is actually uh not really coming forth and offering you more uh, or anything really like you are making more of the effort here and they are holding back and they are the ones who they, they may even be a bit miserly in the way in which they go about managing their affairs they expect you to be the one who spends the money they expect you to be the one who makes the move they expect you to be the one who uh, initiates the conversation uh, if there's a contract involved here that needs to be dealt with and I feel that you know it, it makes you feel like uh, you've done everything that you can and you can't we're well, like what else can you do now and you can just hope you know and and you'll be hoping that this comes to fruition but uh or you can actually have something more more stable in this relationship but i feel that this is just a hope and uh i don't actually see it happening okay so um i think that that you know this this is kind of guidance as to what you can expect and uh this is you know the cards are showing you that you are going to have some some challenges ahead and you're not really going to be uh, having what you wish for in fact you're going to be left uh, like a year or two down the line you're going to be left still wishing and still hoping that there's something that can be made of this and of course you have free will and of course this is uh, not written in stone and of course you can go ahead and change this or um by, by changing your attitude or looking at it from a different perspective or uh you know just basically um uh, manifesting a different outcome as well and um yeah so perhaps look at that and see how it is that you can change this outcome so that was your message for those of you who've chosen the first deck which had this background uh good luck in your scenario and i hope that all works well for you so for those of you that chose this deck here okay we're asking the question what's going to happen in the near future and what's going to happen uh, in further along the line, like in about a year or two from now? What's going to happen in the near future? And then what's going to happen in about a year or two down the line? This is with regard to a relationship and it's with regard to love. So I take the cards sometimes when they uh, flip out of the deck, if I feel uh, like I'm guided to, but I'm not being guided to do that right now. And uh, I feel like I need to shuffle the cards more. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. Okay, it's just I'm trying to see this in the camera for you, but it's a bit out of reach for me today. Back. 
Okay, so this card came off, uh, came out earlier and it was not in the reverse position, but it is now. So let's move ahead. So in this situation, uh, what I see is that in the near future, there's going to be a, 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 um, a situation where you may be wondering whether your partner is cheating or whether you're wondering whether there's a third party involved or perhaps there is a third party involved and you know about it, uh, either on your side or on the side of your partner. And it's, it's requiring you to be patient. It's requiring you to be uh, not to be angry and not to be not to take things to another level, not to actually um, do anything about it, but just to be patient and just to observe what's actually going on here. And it's a huge lesson for you to, to do this. It's a huge lesson for you to be able to work through this and to uh, come through this this moment of turbulence in your relationship. I feel also that for those of you where there isn't another party, there's not a third party involved, it's um, as if the, the joy of the past or the joy that you've had before has just kind of evaporated and quite suddenly and you're needing to uh, take a step back and, and and just observe whether this person comes back, whether the relationship develops uh, in a way where there is this joy again, or whether this joy is actually just gone, whether this, the fun times are just behind you now. And so you spend a moment um, kind of just wondering what is actually going on between you two and uh, whether there is a future for you and you, you are needing to take your time about it. There's nothing much that you can do about it, but just be patient and see what happens and observe what happens and, and just keep yourself in a balanced state and um, don't um, be too emotional about everything that's going on. And I feel that um, this may lead you to feeling a bit stagnant. You know, it's as if the wheels are not turning. It's as if you can't really uh, move things along. It's it's as if this, yeah, this, I feel very much like you stuck in this situation, you know, like you, you kind of, you find out, you don't find out necessarily, maybe perhaps you know about this already, but you in a situation where the joy, the happiness is gone, it's evaporated from your relationship, the joy is gone, uh, or, it, you know, you still have good times, but you're wondering what's happened about the past. And you, you're looking at that and you, you kind of trying to you know, see what you can do to make it work, see what you can do to have good times again, see what you can do to invite the joy back into your life, regardless of if there is somebody there or not, you know. And as I said, for some people that will reply, but not for everyone. Um, but I do believe that those of you who've chosen this deck, most likely you will have, uh, there would be another person in that relationship which you're wondering what you should do about, whether you should stay with this person or whether you should uh, move on or whether you should move on with somebody else or whether you should, you know, just watch what happens between those two. Uh, yeah, it, it just I get the sense that there is somebody else here. So perhaps that applies to you. And so uh, it's like you're observing and, you know, you're trying to keep balanced and all's going well as far as that's concerned because you're pretty... Um, you know, you, you're holding it together, but then it's like it stays in that situation and there's no movement and there's like things aren't moving ahead. So there's not a change and you just don't know and you don't see how it's going to move ahead. So I'm going to see what's going to, how's it going to, what's going to be the outcome in a few, in a, in a year or two from now. So we're just going to go ahead and ask the question, um, what happens between this couple of between uh, the person who's looking at this video and their loved one in the next year or two what actually happens. Okay, so I feel this is amazing because the, you've got like just major arcana cards here and they really, it's really a good message. And this is temperance. So I feel like this is one of those situations where this relationship has actually been a life changer for you. And uh, I feel that, you know, you're going to feel that you it's it's as if you know it's like one of those twin flame ones right where the people are just like waiting and waiting and waiting for their present to come along but it's actually not happening um, because it's like you know here it's like you've had an encounter with each other which has been really happy and good but it no longer is and then you're just waiting and kind of you know keeping yourself balanced while you do so and there's stagnation but what they're saying is that 
uh, you it's like really amazing because what it's saying is that you can create anything that you want you know with your life and with the situation as well so you can use your psychic powers and your manifestation powers and your your abilities that you have already um, to be able to to influence how this relationship is going to pan out and where this is going to go and it asks you to take action it asks you to be the person who leads here it asks you to move ahead and and do what you advise to do and actually um, it shows you that you have the strength to do so and you might not always feel that you might sometimes feel a great deal of anxiety you might not be certain about how you, to move these things ahead but um, what it's showing me is that you actually have everything that you need here to be able to move this in any which direction you want it to go to so um, yeah, I think that you know, just take the action that you um, that you that you advise to take, or take the action that you feel that you want to take. If you feel like in this relationship later on down the line, when you when you, you know after you've come through this period of stagnation or whatever, um, just be aware of the fact that you have everything that you need. And you have the strength to be able to take action in this and to decide what you want to from it. And you, you might decide that you don't actually want this. Um, or Although I don't feel that you will. I feel like 90% of you will decide that you want this and you want to make it happen. And then you'll set about going about making it happen. So I feel like you'll be the one who pursues that person. You'll be the one who fights for that person. Or you'll be the one who... Uh, devises a strategy to be able to access this person or create something with this person and I think that uh, this is uh, it, it speaks to you on so many levels because it speaks to you on a spiritual level and it speaks to your personality and you change through this you know you're not the person that you used to be you may have been somebody who kind of waits for somebody to come to you and you wait you wait for them to initiate something and you may wait for them to take the action or you're just simply sitting around waiting for them to move things along or but I don't see that in the future I see that you're going to be taking the action and making things happen here and um, they show me that you can do that they show me that you actually have the power to be able to do that and that's where your truth comes from and that's where your you understand when you take this action this is when you understand what is what it is that this relationship truly is and um I feel that you feel you you gain a certain degree of empowerment through this relationship and you're able to tap into your strength and your energy it's not it doesn't destroy you this relationship it empowers you and brings you out of this um, funk that you're in or I don't really feel that you're in a funk actually let me take that back I feel that it you it brings you out of the stagnation because there's definitely a period of stagnation that you experience here because things are not moving ahead and so you then have to take the initiative to move things ahead so this is what I see for you, for those of you who've chosen uh, the deck with uh, this back here. And um, yeah, good luck with that. It seems like you are in a good space and you don't need uh, um, this kind of guidance. It's as if you, you know, you know how to balance yourself and you know how to uh, move things ahead and you, you know what, you have everything that you need to do and you have the strength to be able to take the action that you need to take in the future. So for those of you who've chosen the decks with this back here, the question we're asking today is, what's going to, going to happen between um, my loved one and I in the near future and later on in a year or two from now? So uh, we're asking, yeah, what's going to happen between us in the near future or later on? Okay, I think that's what's going to happen here. I'm just guided to pull one extra card. There it is. Okay, so it feels to me like right now you're in a state where things are just not, yeah, it's just not so great right now. It's, um, you're feeling devastated, you're feeling, um, yeah, you're just feeling like at your wit's end uh, with the situation. It's really broken you down and it's really, um, it's really taken everything out of you. Uh, but they're also showing me that the cycle is ending and so it's as if um, you can move on from this. 
it's not going to be so easy for you to move on and it might sometimes be a struggle from you for you to move on and you might you know have to move on from a situation which was comfortable and which provided you with everything and you're out on your own again and so this is really really hard for you but if you look at the situation it's disintegrated you it's it's created it's destroyed you it's begun to destroy you and so uh you need to actually start moving out of here and so uh yeah what i see here is that you know you've you've had real difficulties in the situation this person's broken you down and this relationship's broken you down and it's almost destroyed you and so you you defeated in the situation and you can't really do anything you need to just bundle up what you have and get out of there as soon as possible remove yourself from the situation and you might not feel like you have the energy to go forth and you might not feel like you can actually go ahead um uh, without you know this person or you might feel like you don't know how to go ahead and you're going to be still looking back but I feel like you have an inner force or an inner drive and you have uh, you know angelic forces and um, uh, whatever you believe in in terms of divinity to be able to uh, guide you and to be able to support you and you don't really realize that but they are already taking you away from the situation they are supporting you to remove yourself from the situation and I feel that as you move along you 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 won't feel like it's so heavy you won't feel like it's so difficult to move on from this but actually you'll feel like you are gliding along or you're flying along and you you begin to renew yourself and you begin to understand yourself and you you begin to see yourself as somebody who's beautiful and somebody who's 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 attractive and you've forgotten that in this relationship you, you know this person made you feel like you weren't good enough or you went you you went as beautiful as you are and they criticized you i feel like there's a lot of criticism going on here or even if they didn't criticize you directly you felt criticized uh, because of the way that they treated you and you you felt bad about yourself because of how they they behaved with you and so uh, here it's like you regain your personality, you regain yourself with more strength, you regain a newness about yourself and you understand your beauty and you understand your power and you understand how exciting you are as a person and how dynamic you are as a person and you can actually do things and, and you have various ideas and you can create new finances and new ways of living uh, for yourself and I mean new you can, uh, what I meant is that you can um, create a new uh, source of income for yourself and you are able to, to manage things and look after things and you're able to do it with dignity and you're able to, be, you're fine doing that and you don't actually have to worry about this uh, situation. If you move away from this, it'll be like the best thing for you right now because it's going to bring you back into yourself and and with that, you know, uh, I, I feel that with this new energy, you're going to move, you're going to be able to build something. You know, I see it right here. These cards are beautiful because they show me so very clearly how you're able to uh, manifest something. You, you know, you, you have your, re your renewed power and you can just move ahead and create something. And then you're looking at, at what it is that you can create and you manifest it. You, you have these thoughts, you have these ideas that you can bring to fruition and you, you put it, you know, you start planting the seeds for it and then you watch it grow and this gives you an even greater degree of empowerment and you actually forget about this person. And I feel that that's what's going to happen in the near future, like the next few weeks or months. And it's it's something that's really empowering for you. It's like you build something for yourself without this person. And it's something that is a, a, a part of you that you give rise to. And um, you watch it grow and it gives you hope because it grows so beautifully and you have it renews your faith, you know, because... Uh, it, you've been so destroyed and you've forgotten that you have this potential. You've forgotten how beautiful you are. You've forgotten how attractive you are. You've forgotten how dynamic you are and how energetic you are, how much of fun you are to be with and how brilliant you are, how intelligent you are. This situation has just led to you being broken into pieces. And and so here you regain that. So that is your um, what, what happens in the near future. And I'm just going to go ahead and ask, well, what happens later on? What happens in about a year or two from now? What does this person, the persons who have chosen this number three, have to know about what happens later on in their lives? Okay. So, yeah, it's a new beginning, yeah? It's a brilliant, brand new beginning. Oops. All right, I'm not guided to pull any more cards, actually. Um, so 
here I what I see is that when you when you when you've started this yeah you've set something in motion here for yourself it's like I feel it's like your own dreams your own goals it's got something to do with your work your career it's like you set up a new it's like you set a new seed for your future income and you you, you know, I feel here like you're reliant on this person financially or you're reliant on them, you live with them or something like this, or you, you, you thought you would live with them and you thought that you would create something with them, but now you actually have to move away from them because they're not helping you at all. And they, you really just, or the situation that you're in is just not helping you at all. And so you move away and then you plant your seed and then you have a whole new beginning in which which allows you to go in any which direction that you want to. And I think that with that, you have so much of power that you're able to move forward with um, that you actually decide to, 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 to move things ahead and to build upon that and to refine it. And before you know it, you know, in the future, in a year or two from now, you're going to be a different person completely. You can, you're not going to be this broken person that you, you're going to find that you would have built something for yourself. You would have actually begun something. You've got, gone in a direction in which you trusted. It would have seemed risky at the time. It, people would have looked at you at, what are you doing? But you have all the keys to be able to create anything that you wanted to. And you see a potential in the situation that you might not, that others don't see and so you go ahead and you create this and then you're sitting pretty you know you have everything that you need and so you're sitting here pretty and you are looking back at the situation where you've come from and how you've struggled and how you thought that you couldn't manage by yourself and how this person broke you down or how that relationship broke you down rather because nobody really breaks another person down you know one one allows oneself in a situation one can always leave the situation even if you can't leave physically you can leave emotionally you can leave mentally so but you're looking back at the situation where you come from and how broken you were and how you pull and the courage that you had to push yourself out of the situation and then how you you know you managed to get out of there and how you found yourself again and how you planted these seeds and how you took the risk even when everyone looked at you and thought you were crazy you still went ahead and trusted yourself and you made something amazing and you're sitting in a space where you have everything that you need you are very well off um you know from a material point of view and you're also very well off in terms of um everything that you need yeah there's not a situation where which is causing you difficulties right now you are the master of your universe you are in control of your situation here and so i see this here you know this is the emperor card and and you are you're strong and you are you are in charge of your situation and you are not going to allow anyone to have ever treat you in this way or to break you down in the situation and um, yeah, I think that this is amazing, you know, the way in which it plays out here. It's actually beautiful. So I wish you all the best for those of you who've chosen um, the deck with this background here. And um, I really hope that you, you know, find the courage and the strength to move on from your situation because um, this is what it's showing me here. Um, you know, I know you're asking how this relationship is going to develop, but it shows me more that this, rela this relationship, excuse me, develops... Uh, with you like this is something that develops you you know uh, how is this relationship going to develop well it's the relationship that you have with yourself that's going to develop and that's going to uh be it's going to develop very beautifully and uh you're going to find the strength that you didn't even know that you had within you that you can't even see that you have within you so thank you for those of you who've chosen this uh deck here and so moving on uh, for those of you who've chosen this one, the number four, we want to ask about a relationship that you are looking at. And we are asking what's going to happen in the short term or in the immediate future. And what is going to happen later on? What's going to happen in the immediate future? And what's going to happen later on? Oops, there we are. Cards are flying out of here. Okay, this is it. So here is what we have in the um, in the near future for you in your relationship, and what I see here is that 
um, you're very, you're in a state where you are very emotional and your emotions are getting the better of you. You are you have all this love and all this uh, compassion and all this beautiful feelings for someone and for this person and it's a situation which is uh, getting the better of you because you're not really able to understand uh, how it's going to um, unravel. It's like you're ahead of getting ahead of yourself and a part of this is um, because you're getting ahead of yourself you are almost trying to control the situation. You're almost trying to manage the situation. You are almost, you're not letting it, you're holding on too tightly to it, you know? It's like, you're not letting it breathe. You're not letting it actually flourish and you're not actually letting it uh, take its own course, its natural course. It's like you you have all these emotions and then you want to see the outcome of it and you want to have it now and you want to have it, you know, you, you were driven by your emotions and you just want what you want. And I feel that this is leaving you a bit unbalanced and it's also, uh, it's it's creating an imbalance in, in the relationship. It's creating a kind of, uh, it's putting a spin on the relationship, which is actually uh, working uh, contrary to it. It's working against it. It's working, um, it's working against its natural flow. So if you here, if you had to just, you know, take a breath and just basically step back and let this, happen as it's supposed to happen in the time that you it will happen uh, you will find that uh, you will come to a, you'll come to a place where you will have you will be very grounded yeah you will come to a place where you will feel a set a completion almost it's almost as if you will it will be like a like a you know you you're becoming another person you know <laughs> I'm just trying to explain this because it's such a it's like they give me this feeling and I've got to put it into words and sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me. But basically, uh, you're, you're not in control of your emotions. And what they're showing me is that you can transform yourself so that you are fully in control of your emotions. You almost have a zen-like ap approach to the situation. You're almost detached and just observing and just basically understanding the 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 potency of this relationship you uh, see this relationship for all that it is and um you 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 can you get a hold of yourself you're not right now you're ruled by the tides you're ruled by the moon you're ruled by all of else that is outside of you and what they're showing me is that you can actually bring yourself to a place where you will be in control of yourself in control of your emotions and you almost detach yourself from your emotions and you'll be able to you're able to look at this relationship and when you see how it evolves you'll understand that it kind of comes back to its balance it it comes back into its natural flow and uh, its natural rhythm and as a result it brings healing to the situation that you're in right now uh, because right now you know it's just a bit too topsy-turvy it's just all over the place it's not really working out in the way that it needs to it's not really working out in the way that it should like it's like you have this perception here oh yeah you know of course this is a very important relationship and this is a very important person why isn't it going the way that i expect it to go why is it now um going in this other direction and that's because you are too focused on it you're too you're not letting it breathe you're not letting it grow you've got it's like you you've got a strangle hold over the situation by the amount of attention that you're placing on it and so they're saying you yeah, take a step back and then you're going to see that you're going to find yourself changing you're going to develop in a way in which you never even imagine that you need it to develop and as you do so you're going to uh learn a new degree of self-resolve and uh, strength and discipline within yourself to be able to manage the situation and manage yourself emotionally within this context and so that is your um, for the immediate future that is actually what I what I see for you it's like you you'll be nudged to go about this um, this and and basically um, embark upon this process where you are learning to detach and not have a stranglehold over your over your relationship. You're able to kind of just let your relationship flow and um, develop as it needs to uh, because this is what it needs right now. And I see that the other person in this relationship, your partner, uh, is actually just, you know, they, they don't know what to do because they actually 
feel suffocated in this situation. And so you just need to give it some space and give it some um, some time and, and let go for a moment. I'm not saying let this person go, but just not uh, think so much about it. And as you, not, as you think less about it, you give it a chance to develop by itself. Um, and you don't, you know, you release your stranglehold over the situation. So this is what I'm feeling for you right now. I'm going to go ahead and ask uh, what's going to happen in the next year or two in this relationship. Because I feel that if you do this, you, you know, this, is, this has a great potential. This relationship can actually um, go, um, you know, a, a long way. But let's just see what the cards have to say. So can you please show us, um, can you please show us what it is that happens Oops, here, okay. Can you please show us what it is that happens in this relationship in the long term? Okay, so here what I see is that, you know, I feel that this is really sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, because what I see here is, and what I feel here is this great potential for this relationship, okay? But I don't feel that you're going to be able to make this change. Like what they're showing me, right? So it doesn't mean that you can't make the change, actually. Let me just um, take that back. You, you have the potential to be able to detach from the situation and let it grow and let it develop by itself, okay? But if you don't, if you continue as you are right now uh, in this energy, then this is what you're going to have. OK, uh, and so because, you know, we're asking what it is, what, how is it going to develop? And so they're going to tell us they're giving us a snapshot of how it will develop if we continue behaving the way we do. And so it's as if you because here you recognize that this is an important relationship. Right. And so when things it's like things don't get off the ground here between you two, but then you are. Uh, yeah, you're not able to really face that. It's like you still fantasizing and still considering and still imagining what would really happen here. And, you know, this card, it says denial here. And um, it's like you're in denial, basically, about what it is that can be in this relationship. You're still thinking about this person and you're still thinking about how it is that you can be with this person because you recognize the connection between you and you recognize the love. But you're in denial about what's actually going on here. You're not willing to face the fact that you've, almost put a stranglehold on this relationship and you've almost squeezed the life out of it and I know that many of you are going to hate this and give me lots of dislikes but I have to tell you what the cards are saying and what I'm hearing so it's you know you're really too much in this relationship you've got to just let it you've got to take a step back and just let it happen um, and the other thing I'm also seeing here is that you know, in the previous uh, reading, um, one of the previous readings now, uh, the advice was to take action and to be the lead. But here, you are asked not to do that. You are asked to actually take a step back, tone it down a bit. You are just, you know, you you just made this person your whole life and they've taken over all your emotions and your whole life is them and you're being dragged through these emotions and you don't even realize it. And the worst of it all is that you're letting it happen. So. They're saying that if you continue to do that, you're going to be in a state where you, you know, you're going to be in denial about what the relationship really is. You're going to be imagining what it could be and thinking about all the, the potential of it. But that's all you're going to have is the potential of it. And it's going to be unrealized because you're going to be sitting in a state where you don't have access to this person anymore. OK, and and this is, uh, you know, it it can lead you to uh, to being like really depressed or lead you to being in a state where you just, you know, lose control of the of the your mental abilities, your mental state. You, it could impact other areas of your life in a in a harsher way. But I feel that this is something that you you know you will be able to prevent or you'll be able to stop at the nick of time. So you'll let it get to that point where you will see that you know it's really impacting your your mental state and then you'll save it you'll, you'll stop it you'll take some action to stop it you'll stop obsessing about this person because you know this is this energy this compassion that you feel is 
is a bit obsessive, you know, it's not just plain compassion that you feel. It's obsession. It's a kind of obsession that you have in which you're kind of imagining and wondering the whole time, well, how can I be with this person? Or can we be in a relationship? Or how can this happen? How can, how can we be together? You know, this is all you're thinking about. It's like, gosh, it's like, yeah, it reminds me a lot of these people who, um, who are on and on and on about union and twin flames, because it's just, screwing you over you know it's just messing you to your mind here it's uh, you don't have control of your life you don't have control of your mind and yet you have the potential to do so and you have the potential to be able to use this to grow from it and if you do that it brings you to such an amazing space where you feel so empowered and you understand and you tap into the the secrets of the universe and you you're able to to have such great control of your life but here it's showing me that, um, yeah, you'll be forced to do this at some point. You'll be forced to kind of rein yourself back. And um, and in terms of the relationship, well, I see this person's gone, actually. Like, right in the immediate future, I feel that this person is still here. But in the in the year or two from now, this person is not even in the picture anymore. This person is long gone. Um, and I feel that you'll be picking up the pieces from this whole uh, mess that you've been in or this cycle that you've been in you know and um i feel that you recognize you see the situation as something that doesn't come to fruition or there's been rejection or something like that but it actually hasn't been rejection you have not been rejected by this person this person actually has feelings for you and cares about you and i know that you know people who read cards will be saying well where do you see any of that uh, well i'm not seeing it you know i'm hearing it and i'm i work clairvoyantly and so i'm telling you what i'm feeling feeling as far as the energies are concerned here because I pick up on this energy and this vibration and so I'm saying to you that this person actually loves you they just don't know how to come about and, and make this thing happen because you are like so you know focused and you've got like a spotlight on them and you you're not giving it a chance to breathe this relationship and so later on down the line if you if this continues you're going to see yourself as being rejected from this person but this person actually hasn't rejected you in fact they they you haven't it hasn't been a fail it hasn't been a waste of time it hasn't been a tree that's been barren it hasn't been it's not it's not that it was something that was real and was love it was just that you just didn't let it happen here and i'm going to go ahead and ask here because i don't want to leave you with this message it's so bleak um i'm going to go here ahead and i'm going to ask um for them to show us what would happen if you took this action what would happen if you took this action here where you detached and you would be uh, you know, a bit, you know, you separated yourself from the situation. Wow. And this is what I wanted for you. You know, here, here's this, this is what I want. So what I'm seeing here is that, I don't know if you can see that well enough. I'm just going to place it right here and hopefully you can see it. So what I see is that the, you know, it changes it changes you, it brings you into luck, it brings you into abundance, it brings you into prosperity. It is what you need to be doing, you know. Now, you know, this is such a contrast. Look at that and look at this. Yeah. What do you prefer? What do you actually prefer here? Oh, wait, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm going to leave the cards like this because this is the way it came out and I might forget. So what do you actually prefer? Do you prefer to be a, in this state here or do you prefer to be here, full of life, you allow yourself to be guided by the universe, allow the process to unravel as it should within divine timing. Stop wondering where is this going to go to, where is this going to head, what, where is this headed to? This is something that is going to happen if you give it a chance to happen, but if you don't, you know, if it's like, uh, what is the saying? Um, a still a watched kettle never boils or something like this. It basically says that as long as you have your attention on this particular situation, you're not giving it a chance to grow. So actually what you need to do is take a step back, employ some Zen detachment de techniques, get a life, actually, I'm sure you hate me for saying this, but I'm going to advise you to do so anyway. And just uh, basically... Uh, allow it to pr proceed and then actually if you do that yeah if you do this here you're going to the the tide's going to turn you're going to have fortune yeah you're going to you're going to have luck it's you you're going to 
it's not, it's not, you're not going to have this basically, which is a disappointment and difficulty from not having gained what you wanted to gain. It's like, it's like, um, you know, like you've been building something and expecting it to take fruition. It's like you've been planting these seeds and, uh, the tree has died it it hasn't actually come to fruition and uh so you're sitting there and mourning your losses and wondering what it is that you did wrong well this is what you're doing wrong you're focusing too much on it right now and this is right now is when you need to change this is right now is when you need to take this back okay and and if you do well you're going to be rewarded for it and it's going to be a wonderful thing you're going to have lakshmi in your life and lakshmi is the goddess of abundance and prosperity and it's the wheel of fortune that means that things are going to turn in your time in yeah it's the wheel of fortune and it's not reversed so you, you're going to have things turning in your favor the tide's going to turn in your favor things are going to move ahead in uh, in a direction that brings you luck and happiness and prosperity and so uh, my advice to you here is really to take a step back from the situation let it unfold as it should uh, naturally Okay, so I know that was a bit of a hard message and I've been pretty blunt with you here, but um, I don't know how else to get through to you. And uh, I think that maybe some of you needed to hear that and forgive me if uh, you've taken that too personally or it's hurt to you, okay? So, that so for those of you who've chosen this stick here, uh, we're asking the question, what can we expect in our relationship in the short term? as in the immediate future and in the long term as in one to two years from now. What can we expect in our relationship? So I'm just going to go ahead and put all the cards down at this point. So as opposed to the way I did it in the other readings. Okay, so this is actually, uh, this, this reading has a, a positive outcome. So we have in the near future a situation where you have the, a huge passion for this person and this per, you have this, this relationship perhaps that is uh, alive and uh, where there's a vivaciousness there is a sense that you could do anything together um, or, or perhaps you feel this way that you know you would like to have this relationship at any cost and that you could have it at any cost. There's also the sense that uh, you, you full, you're fully committed and passionate about this relationship and you're willing to take whichever steps that you need to take in order to see it to its end, in order to see it um, in its fruition. Uh, but what I feel is going to happen and what I see is going to happen from these cards is that you're going to go through some difficult moments where um, you're going to feel at some point that you can't really do much in this relationship or that it doesn't really depend on you, how it moves, the pace of the relationship, the direction in which it moves um, and all of that is very much dependent on what your partner or your loved one, the one that you're doing this reading about, on what they decide, on what they want. And it doesn't really matter what you want. And I feel that you're going to be feeling really upset about this and really uh, unsure of how to go about changing it. In fact, you're going to come to a point where you will feel as if you have no idea if it could change or if it couldn't if it if it will change and this might make you quite sad and quite despondent um, and not really looking forward to this it may also bring out feelings of um, um, sort of feeling 
not of obsession exactly, but a feeling of not knowing how to move this ahead and being stuck in a situation. So you might feel this within yourself as well, but you might feel this also in terms of your relationship might feel like this as well. So your partner may also feel this way, as if you are uh, subject to forces that are greater than you and that you don't have control over the situation. So I feel that uh, in the next, in the short term, your situation is going to move from having a lot of control um, and, and knowing exactly how it's going to unravel and having all your energy focused on that to a situation where this is going to be taken away from you for whatever reason. And that it's going to be, you're going to be very dependent on the other to ensure that things move ahead or to see whether it moves ahead or not. And it may also be that you uh, become quite sad as a result of this. And I think part of this, what's to come, is that this feeling makes you feel as if you're bound, you know, like you cannot actually move things ahead, but you cannot leave. Like the, It's like you cannot, you might be experiencing this already actually, you might be experiencing this already in this moment, and it may continue for a while, like for the next few months or so, weeks or, or months. And it seems as if this situation is, um, it's like you cannot leave the situation, you might feel like you cannot stop thinking about them or you cannot leave them or you cannot, you know, possibly give up on the situation. Uh, but at the same time, you are, you are suffering as a result of the situation and that, you know, you, you, you're not actually having a good time anymore. Um, it's, you're actually going through quite a rough patch with them and in the situation, in this relationship, as well as in yourself here. But I feel that in the long term, this is going to change and it's going to change really for the better. So for those of you who've chosen this deck, um, what I see here is that um, this is going to change. Yeah? You're not going to feel this in the future. You're going to, you're going to come out of this um, feeling of being unable to do some, anything or being powerless within the situation. And you're going to come out, you're both going to come out of the situation where you feel like you, you are stuck in something. You know, where the, an example of this, and this will not apply to everyone, is that um, you fall in love with somebody who's married to somebody else and it's extremely difficult for that person to extract themselves of their marriage. And in fact, they are um, they are controlled by their, their ex-wife or their, their wife or their mother of the kids. And you are subject to this with, with your loved one. So that's just one example. But it's something like this. It's, it could also be a situation where I'm just going to give you several examples so you get an idea. It could also be a situation where everything is going well in the relationship and then suddenly you don't hear from this person again or you don't know what's really going on. And then when you do hear from them, you realize that they have had huge financial difficulties and they're unable to move ahead in a relationship with you. Or you have a situation where uh, they are... Uh, they they may have been in an accident or they may have had some uh, difficulty with their health and you are standing by their side and you don't really know how you would come out of the situation. Or this person may have uh, taken to some kind of addiction like gambling or alcoholism or something and you, you've lost them. It's like you feel as if you've lost them whereas things were really good before and you're wondering how are you going to come out of the situation uh, so it's something like this, it's something like, it almost feels like, it's not a result of your loved one behave. Um, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with your loved one and their feelings towards you. This has everything to do with an outside situation, okay? And yes, one may say, okay, if it's gambling or if it's alcoholism, this is something that's within this person, but um, it's not within you, you know, it's not directed at you. This is something, this is a battle that's outside of you that you need to stand by and fight with in order to get through this. So in this, is, this is one situation where I would advise you not to give up um, because what I see is going to happen is, is actually lovely, it's really wonderful and I'll go into that in a moment. But what I want to say here is that uh, 
you, you will go through difficulties in this, all of this, but it is something that you can overcome and that, that you will be able to overcome and that you will have support in overcoming that. And you can actually have a good relationship with this person and a happy relationship with this person, even when you think that you can't. It's just going to require a bit of time and um, yeah, a bit of time to get over this. So as I said, this is maybe something that you're experiencing already. Uh, so here yeah, what I see happens in the next uh, year or two, and I'm not going to say whether it's one year or two years because it will differ depending on your situation. For some people, it may even be three to five years. Uh, for others, it may be within eight months or so. What I see happening here is that your partner is actually going to, uh, your loved one is actually going to change the situation. They're going to find courage within themselves to be able to come forth and and bring your relationship to the next level. It's as if they've lost you at this point and they've come back to ask for you. They've come back because they realize that they've made a mistake or by losing you and that they can't be without you. Or that you are actually here, you, you are in fact, you're in a situation where, um, or they, sorry, they. it's like you're out of their life, you know, like you've come out of their life, like you've been there with them for a while and then you kind of extracted yourself from the situation and then they come back looking for you and they have resolved their issues. They now, if they, they're now sober, if they were an alcoholic um, or if they, they, they've overcome their difficulties, whatever it has been, they no longer, if it was an ex-wife or a mother, mother of the kids or something, they don't really have that influence anymore. Um, they're alone. And it feels as if they've come out of something that has been, that has really broken them, but they've survived. And with their last uh, ounce of strength, uh, they come to you. And they there's a lot of communication here where between you and them. And they make it quite clear to you that they are interested in you. And it's almost as if they want to sweep you up your feet. It's almost as if they want to, you know, um, kind of whisk you away. And it's it's as if they come back in and they convince you to come with. And they have a, a new passion and new energy. And you decide to go with them. And if you decide to go with them and to be a part of their lives, even if they are, you know, not doing so well, but they've come out of that situation, but they still need to build themselves up, you will actually be really happy with them. You will have a happy time together. You will have a fun time together. You will have a, a very blessed relationship with each other. You will have the blessings of the gods and the divine, and you will be, you will have fun together, and you will love each other, and you will be, there will be passion, but there will be fondness as well, and there will be just joy and, and, and good things to come. So this is actually, uh, from all these readings, I think this is, um, you know, this is one where I see that you will end up together, whereas the others, I just didn't feel that the they would end up together. And here I see that you will be together and you will be very happy as well. Um, and, and this is something that, you know, you'll be celebrating your joys. You, you, you'll be celebrating where you're at. You'll be perhaps looking back on the past and seeing where you come from and and celebrating it. And this feeling that you've had, that you know that this is the one, this person is the one, and this is something that you have to fight for, that you've had right at the beginning here, is something that is worth it. Yeah, you realize at that point it's been worth it and you have what you've wanted. So I wish that this is the case for all of you. And um, yeah, I just hope that you, you know, you don't lose faith during this period here uh, when things are not going so well. And, you know, as is in with life, things go up and things go down at times and uh, you've got to just grin and bear it at times. And um, this is one of the situations where it's advised to do so. Uh, of course, if you need to extract yourself from the situation because it's not the best situation, it's not a healthy situation, it's a disturbed situation, then you can do that and that person will come after you again or will initiate the uh, you coming together. 
Okay, so I hope that's been helpful for you and um, that was your reading for those of you who've chosen the last one. Of course, uh, the light is gone now and uh, I, I wasn't able to finish this earlier. So I hope the light's not bothering you too much. And um, yeah, the last one was for those of you who've chosen this one here. And uh, yeah, so I hope that you've had, um, I hope that all of you have had, you know, the a good reading and that um, the messages in here are going to help you and assist you to uh, come to your highest good and I'm wishing you all the best and uh, thank you all for subscribing to my channel and uh, for giving me lots of thumbs ups etc I appreciate that thank you also to those two people who always appear on my channel and give me a thumbs down in the first hour of me posting a video um, <laughs> yeah so uh, thank you very much to all of you and blessings abound from Kismet Rising